What's up, everybody? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Is it time? Are we on time? Uh, let me make sure this is set. Today is June 26th. All right, this thing is off. Looks like sound. Looks like all that is good. Let me refresh. Make sure we're set. All right, I think we're good. Uh, let me know if you can see me, you can hear me. We're going to do some shout outs and then we'll get right into the show. Uh, let's see. Barry, first in line. Brother to the night, what's up? Nate Dog, Nate Ricks. Uh, demand Mr. Information in hand. There we go. Uh, Don Hustle, Texas Pete, Mina, Rigging the Rod, Robert, Jose, uh, eBay Joey, what's up? Going to see you pretty soon uh, for eBay Open. Uh, Claude, Sneaker Finds 12, Souls and Stitches, Zombries, Gritty Girl Boss, Haruna, good to see you. Uh, Christine, good to see you too. Uh, Salmon and Hustle and Muscle, Zach. Uh, let's see, Joe, Thomas B, Luis, Ross Shallington, and Paper Drew, Steven, uh, Drifting, Chris, Derek, what's up, Todd, Merch Mayhem, really good finds too, Merch Mayhem, and still kick. Uh, still kicking at sports. Both of them doing well. Uh, doing well right now. Uh, Jimmy Garcia, Ben, Luis, Jason, Jewel, Ronaldo. Know what to flip it. Jake is also here. More people coming in. Um, all right, let's get started. But I want to get started as soon as possible. You know why? Because let me see. Can I get this out of the way? Can we get out of here? Share my screen. Get this out of the way for the people that are here early. We need to do a giveaway now. So. $25. We're going to keep it the same. $25 uh, gift card to Ross. And uh, next month we'll change it. So that if you've already won the last couple of weeks, um, then you can't win this one, but you can win next month when we start all over again with brand new giveaways, but $25. So if you can see the screen, let me know. But we've had a mix of up tempos for the last, what, mm, eight to 12 months. So with up tempos, here's a variety that we've seen here. There we go, eBay Joey trying to get in early. That's I'm trying to mix it up. So with up tempos, there's only one thing you got to do. I need the correct format. Give me the top three in order by most listed right now on eBay. So my example, let's say you think this one's the most listed. Second most listed, A, and third most listed, E, then you would say C, A, E. So I only need three letters in the right format, the right combo, and you will win your $25 Ross gift card. So uh, still kicking at sports. I need to send yours out. So I'm going to send yours out and this one together. Um, so yeah, put all of them in here. I'm gonna go through them. We're gonna see who the first one gets it right. You can guess as many times as you want. Remember, it's only three letters. That's all you need, three letters, and you win. So let me go, let me go up. Make sure anybody has won yet. You can see the screen share some. I gotta check them. Let me see. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, we're going down. Jeweled says C is dope. Oh, yeah, this one. This one's been out there recently. Um, all right, we got a winner. And I can take a screenshot, but it is. Let me see. Take a screenshot here, and it is right here. Chong Yang, right? Uh, right under Christine and between Christine and Robert. Chong Yang right here. D E F. Right answer. That's the answer I was looking for, uh, D, E, and F. Right here, all in a row, too. Try to make it simple for me so I can remember uh, the right combo. But you won 25 bucks next month. I'm going to mix it up. We're going to get different types of giveaways. Um, so that one should be pretty interesting. But D, E, F, if you want to see the results. And here we go. D, uh, 400 and 13 results for this. <laughs> this is, I think, one of the ones that Ross just went, I mean, they went ham with this one. Uh, 99 and then 82. Now, when you think about it with these, we haven't really seen this Georgetown one uh, in months. I think my outlet had really, really small sizes of this one left. This one might be coming back. This one was a, 
the gum bottoms I remember were uh, not necessarily flooded, but you could definitely see them in the kids section. This one we've been finding recently, so that's only at 50 results. Uh, but right now, yes, this one is leading. Uh, has more than the rest of these combined. 413 results for this up tempo. So, um, <laughs> man, it is wild. Uh, are we getting some Plato's mafioso content in this channel? I know I haven't I haven't gone to Plato's in a while. I've been so hyped up on Ross that I've just been nonstop trying to get everything that I can. Um, but yeah, do need to get some uh, Plato stuff. But me, hey, me and Jake uh, for his mafioso stuff. Me and Jake try to figure something out for eBay Open. We need to get like a good Plato's closet or some sort of uh, finds a video while we're out there. Um, so there we go. Uh, let me go back up. <laughs> Everyone's just talking about this. Oh, so wow, thanks. So there we go. Congrats, uh, Chang Ying, you won. And uh, let me see. Dang it, missed the intro. But next time, remember, you got to be in here for the live show. I'm going to mix in the giveaways. Um, you never know when it's going to be. All right, let me make sure I didn't freeze. We can start. And uh, let me get this out of the way. All right, we're good. You might need to refresh them if I'm a little blurry, um, but let's start. Plato's is garbage in Vegas. Oh, man, that's exactly what we don't want to hear. All right, let's get started. So our uh, word of the week, curious. Now, I say this because I just wonder about random things while I'm at Ross, and I start thinking. So the first thought was, you know, I'm curious on how many people actually do you think hit this top part with the cart per day, per week, per month. I bet it's like, I don't know, per day at least, what, 10, 12 on the low end, maybe 15, 20 max. I wonder if we just get like a compilation, like best of Ross fails, of like how many people hit this thing on the way out every single time. I've never seen anybody fall. I have seen them kind of like, like they hit the top and they kind of like duck under and they're kind of like like weird and like a weird stance. Uh, but man, happens all the time. Second thing I wonder, kind of curious, how much space do you think Ross gives us in between aisles? Now, I know I've been working out. The guns clearly have not been huge. But I, I was like, I'm like stuck in between. Next thing you know, you get like an old lady or or someone that's just clearly they're not going to move. And you either go around or you like squeeze your way in. Because these, man, these aisles are getting small. And so I'm trying to wonder like, and you know what too though? Ross is really getting a really, you know, like a lot of good stuff. So no complaints there. But I wonder if like Ross is going to need a bigger store at some point. Like Burlington stores are bigger, uh, but I like how they're a little bit more spaced out. So that I do like, but some of the Ross stores, we have like a really, really small one um, next to like a uh, Target. If you're in El Paso, you know where this one is. Super small. Like <laughs> this one is ridiculously tiny and you you have to go through obstacles uh, to get through some of these aisles and the shoe aisles um, especially. So yeah, curious, just things I really want to know. Maybe questions that Ross can answer. It's corporate. They can answer these questions. All right. Let's go to, uh, what did they say? <laughs> oh, that's me. Let's see. He's a three square foot Don Hustle. Uh, Jake hits his head on the top. <laughs> oh, man, probably. Uh, let me see. Shut my way through 17 or 90 years old. Man, Mr. Eric, uh, showing no mercy. Aisles too damn narrow. They are. They're, maybe they'll work on that. All right, let's get into weekend releases. What's coming out this weekend? Things we need to pay attention to or not pay attention to. And uh, this week, Nikes make it pretty uh, easy for you because uh, the last two we had, what, like a mix between Adidas Toy Story stuff, um, but nothing really that great. I think there was only three weeks ago we had a mix of like the Yeezys that came out, Fear of Gods. Uh, but this time... Uh, this this week, there's probably only one real drop that you're probably looking forward to. And even then, you got to get the right size. So 
First one, Stranger Things and Nike Collection. This one comes out tomorrow, actually, Thursday. Price 120. We talked about this a couple of weeks ago. It was a little mix. You get like Blazers and Cortez and keeping it old school, but no one really liked. I know the Hawkins high color combo is like, eh, all right, uh, but nothing. I just thought they could do so much, um, you know, with the Stranger Things. So I really don't think any of this is going to sell out. I think it's going to sit. Um, you should, if you want anything for the collection, you should be able to get it pretty easily. That's what I'm guessing. All right, let me see. Pass, exactly. Uh, <laughs> let me see. Go to the next one. Uh, Yeezy Boost 700 Utility Black. So $300 comes out uh, Saturday, June 29th. And is it just me or do, like, do all the 700s just look the same? Like, obviously, the color is a little bit different. We get like a gum bottom, Utility Black. But honestly, I just think that all of them... I just don't care. I don't think anybody else really cares as much. It's just kind of like we've seen them. We've seen the same colors. They look the same. Ah, like, ah, all right. I think I am kind of surprised, though, how much uh, V2s have really come back. Um, everyone just, I mean, from the glow, then we went to reflective, non-reflective, different types. Uh, but with the other ones, I mean, they're all here. They're all sitting. So, all right, next one. Uh, Nike Shocks BB4 Olympics. So, uh, Vince Carter's 20 year career. Yes, he's still playing. I think he's giving it one more season. Uh, these come out Saturday, June 29th. If you remember this, the year's 2000 Summer Olympics, dunking over, jumping over somebody, and Kevin Garnett all hyped. So, uh, this I like. I like the shocks. I like this when they came out back in the day. But Nike knows which one we want. We They know we don't really want this one. It's a good somewhat comeback. Um, yes, these will be at the outlets eventually. But Nike knows we want this one. This is the one we want. Um, man, I really wish mine was still in somewhat decent condition. I think I had these in 10th grade, 11th grade, maybe. Uh, I remember like the little, the, these little things right here fell apart. Some of these circles started coming off, uh, but classic, classic shoe. Vince Carter, the first one. So uh, I don't know if they'll ever do it. We'll see. And finally, our Jordan 1 Jim Red. So uh, this one is kind of like... The no photos, but different kind of reverse colors. Like I think the no photos, we had a black swoosh and then red. Um, of course, we get nothing here in the back. None of that no photos stuff or not for resale. None of that. And uh, I don't know. Obviously, it's an awesome. I like the color combo. I think a lot of other people are big fans of it. As far as resale goes, probably size eight through nine, maybe nine and a half. Other than that, you can even check right now. There's some of them are going for like $40 over retail, not a whole lot. So I think for the collection wise, if you wear 11 through 13, you can get them now. Even when they come out and people finally get them from the sneakers app delivered, then you can get them and you can get them for the price that you want for the collection. But that's pretty much all I can say. Eight through nine and a half. Good luck on that if you can. Um, I could see them going for like 250 range um, for like, you know, eight, eight and a half. So let's see what happens. Uh, Jordan won Jim Red, but I don't see them selling like just as well as the not for resale. So there we go. Uh, Real Vibes, what's up? Let me see. We go to oh, worst basketball shoe ever for the Vince Carters from District Deals. Uh, Nike Shacks, I remember Vince used them. Uh, shocks uh, over foam's worst basketball shoes in history. It's hilarious. Uh, let me see. Uh, cop in the right sizes. There we go. Seven and a half to nine and a half. Give me the money sizes. So, exactly. And uh, good luck. June 29th. So, coming out on Saturday. I think that's it for the weekend releases. We didn't really have much going on. So, that's it. All right. Store updates for. 
I think we only have two store updates. Make sure we're good here. Didn't freeze. Now we're good. All right. Store updates. First one, Ross, uh, Ross Reddy's new store openings. Now, I don't even know where this article came from, where I read it from, but they threw in all these different cities in here. So let me know in the chat if you're from any of these and if any of these have opened, maybe they're going to open, maybe you're already preparing for them to open. Ross store will open in Dallas, so 24,000 square feet. Escondido, California, 25,000 square feet. And Owensboro, Kentucky, uh, 22,000 square feet. Um, so there we go. Owensboro and Dallas and Escondido are all opening, or I guess soon to open, right? Um, let me know in the chat, anybody in these three areas that plan to go or are going to go. Every Ross in LA is trashed. That's from Real Vibes. Where in Dallas? I don't know. It didn't say in the article. Um, and then Didi's discounts also opening. So got two of them right there, California, and then in Texas. So we got another three. Uh, so Didi's and Ross opening up. So you can look that up and see. I don't know um, when they're opening. You can check that. Glenn and Dallas soon. <laughs> Maybe. Let me see. Bring Ross to Connecticut. Come on. No Ross in Michigan. Wow, what's going on? Um, El Paso getting another. That's also true. That's going in, uh, I think, on Dyer. Um, if you're in El Paso, uh, no one cares about Didi's. That's also true. <laughs> um, so there we go. All right. Next one. Marshalls opens in August. Now, when I read this, let me see. River Oaks Shopping Center in Camden on West DeCaleb Street. I think this is South Carolina. I think. <laughs> uh, let me know if this is also in your area. If it is new Marshalls, you want to double and triple check because people are dominating right now with Kobe's and making insane amount of money because brand new with box so marshals you definitely want to go um if you're someone in this area i don't know when oh we'll issue a press release about three weeks before the grand opening date but they're putting up the sign they're getting there so keep your eye out for this one all right let's get into power rankings now whew, last week Didi's went back down. Well, actually, it been down for the last two weeks. Uh, TJ Maxx at four, Marshalls at three, Burlington and Ross for the second week in a row um, at number one. So a little mix. And interesting enough, Kobe AD, again, uh, second week in a row. We didn't get, I think there's maybe only one or two tags in there um, at the most. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Kobe AD, like, either they came and went, they're already gone. Maybe we'll see a second run. But instead, Marshall's getting all the good Kobe's. Kobe AD at Ross, we haven't seen them. Um, so, all right, DD's discounts and TJ Maxx. Now, TJ, TJ Maxx actually stepping up their game. Three stars. DD's discounts. I had to take off a little bit because no tags this week and last week. And um, I don't know. I don't think they've really brought up anything. If they do, it's probably going to be up temples or phone posits, which we've already seen. So TJ Maxx up to three stars. Let's see why. And here we go. Uh, TDBS Marketplace and CJ and Enterprises. TJ Maxx right now also. And they are just... Uh, Getting all of these Vapor Max women's section, 69 bucks. I don't know how many are out there. I've been checking my TJ Maxx, haven't seen them, uh, haven't seen any of those. I think there are different colors out there right now. TJ Maxx, let me see. Uh, Merch Mayhem, also in the chat, and 760 Cleater, two different colors as well. Um, they did pick up, I think, one each. So uh, that, and then this blue, I kind of like this blue one. Uh, 69. Same price out there, so Vapor Max, take a look and see. I don't. I also don't know what the listings look like. I don't know how many have been listed and how many have sold out there. But hey, sixty nine bucks Vapor Max, I like that. So there we go. Uh, better hold on those. Have to shuttle a lot of dough to hold. It's from Don Hustle. Yeah, seven you know, with tax come out to about what seventy five, seventy six bucks. So uh, investment. 
is a little bit higher than some of the Ross finds at 55 or or 59. So uh, they undercutting. I didn't like the comps, Doug the Pug. So I guess Doug the Pug has seen he's out there in the wild. Uh, let me see. Any Project Rock backpack? Uh, looks like a flood. It's hilarious. 75 from Zombri. So that's the price. And uh, Smooth Sailing with Paul George backpack. Now, I think the one we, I think this one does okay, like decent. I think it's still kind of high priced at $69.99. But the Paul George PlayStation backpack, only a couple of people have found them. That's the one you want. You can double up your money on that one. I know it's probably way harder to find than this one. But hey, you want to look out there, you might find it. Paul George playstation it is silver and it's got the playstation buttons or logos on there so take a look at that all right let's go to marshall's now marshall's also stepped up now we went up to four stars like i said kobe's right now are doing well people are doing well right now in the kobe's so let's go into that sneaker flip this one uh, kobe 11 low black space size nine so complete with box if there was one kobe 11 to find it would be this one i mean this one classic all black with the clear bottoms easy sell on this one so uh sneaker flip congrats to you i don't know if you only found one congrats if you found more that's awesome but this one right here money all right uh, my marshall's only got trash kd8s my marshall's has nothing but trash kd8s we have the suit which is the purple one we have the orangey one with the black bottoms and we also have the uh red the red ones um but they also have a red bottom so we got three all of them kd8s only thing i've seen out there let me see all right 79 out of 9 same thing but uh casey the cleats guy kobe's um man i mean this one's insane just like the last one really good sales here um complete with box like we've seen marshall's awesome dead stock deals uh kobe 11 elite low with a nice little six pack coming home with a six pack of kobe's instead of a six pack of beers maybe a little both i can understand celebrate a little bit eight and a half nine and a half eleven 13 another eight and a half here i can't see what the uh, style code they're a little mix so that one is different at 14 and that one at what 37 maybe so we'd have to really go deeper to see which ones they actually were um i'm not gonna put in that work unless i actually find it in my hands and in my city then i'll do the work and see uh to see what they're selling for but congrats to you dead stock deals not to get confused with District deals. District deals, you're going to have to find this guy. All right, next one. Uh, Nerd World Gamer. So Kobe 10 Elite Low. Looks like I got two of them, 10 and a half and a nine in that uh, Chester Cheetah, whatever they want to call this one. And this one, easy money as well. I think I've sold, I think I found these at Marshall's last year. I got the same thing, maybe like one or two pairs. Uh, but good money on these. And don't don't force. So it's saying like, you know, uh, sold nines while in line. Now, I don't mind selling in line, but don't force the issue on bids. You don't have to accept everything. If you have the patience and you can get way more. And I'm talking like $35 to $55 more when all you have to do is wait it out. Please wait it out that's all i can say unless you want to take less go ahead take less and just keep in mind you can wait way more all right maximo finds 50 bucks and has to show off with the project rock duffel um instead of or this is well this is range backpack so totally different backpack than the ones we've seen at ross this one no money any project rock money uh, but this one, man, 50 bucks. Marshall's coming through. Take a look to see um, if your Marshall's has anything Project Rock. So dope bag for sure. Uh, next one, 
Flipping dollars and Super Six Four. So a little mix. We have eighty dollars uh, for the Jordan Twenty Nines. These I did see about four months ago. I did pass uh, Super Six Four. This one, the uh, Friday the Thirteenth LeBron Thirteen. Some actually do sell well. So even though they are eighty dollars, double and triple check uh, completed listings. You have to look at really the size. Um, on the multiple platforms that are selling really, really good. I remember I did see one at Marshall's, I think. Has to be the same time as this. I think it was like four months ago. It was only one pair, uh, but the size, I think it was like 13, and it was really like yellowed out. I was like, uh, man, I don't know this is going to fly or not. But um, I don't remember. I think it might have been a size 13, but the size in general wasn't really that great. I wish they were in better condition. These look really, really good. So congrats to you on that one. Uh, let me see. Oh, there we go. Sold LeBron 13's yellowed. Play-Doh still sold for like 115. There we go. Congrats. Uh, then Super 6-4 came back with finding 4Ds. Now, I know Don Hustle found 4Ds. Uh, Super 6-4 now found these as well. Man, not seen these. I don't know what... If you find these, period, grab as many as you can. If there's even that many, this is insane. And I know you're probably already made sick money on these. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to keep out there on the hunt if I find one, but have not seen one yet. So congrats to you guys on the 4Ds, everyone that has found one so far. And I think that's it for Marshalls. But that was enough to get to uh four stars because i mean this one alone um we want to look them up so adidas on the 40s now i don't know i'm trying to see what the style code is on this one it looks like ac8485 i think uh we can double check let me see um if you guys want to see on ebay so ac and then i could bring it up i just want to make sure i even have i can't even see if that's even the right style code. Um, so it is. Adidas Alpha Edge 4Ds. Um, that is the right style code. So if you want to look it up, it's AC8485. Um, yeah, 350 plus is what you're looking at. But that's even on the low end, probably, I would think. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can probably get 400 to 450 for these alone. So there we go. Next one, Burlington at number two. Now, it was a little bit closer. Uh, Ross, number one. And, I mean, it has to be. Now, the last two weeks we went back and forth, like, who's going to win? But I think it's clear that Ross has kind of taken control right now at number one. Now, don't skip Burlington. You still have to go. It's still on fire. Uh, but I think Ross right now has been solid by adding some uh, seven 20s in there all right so go steals and deals and then collectibles beyond now these two mix uh i think these are actually kids because it looks like four and a half and five and a half 25 dollars and uh the air max plus these if you remember them they were at the outlets uh, i think they are 59 at burlington is the price at the outlets i've seen them go down to like 49 $54 range. Um, they're kind of a mix. Personally, I'm not really a big fan of these. Also, I don't think they really did that well with the TN, the big logo on the side. But if you want to see pick those up, you got to be probably patient on these as well. I don't see them really, really selling super high uh, for these because I remember them a lot at the outlets. Uh, Ross Shallington with the... Golf shoes. Yeah, Lunchtime Burlington grabs golf shoes. Very nice. And uh, Faith Lopez mixing up with the Kyries. Now, these Kyries did sell really good. I think this one is a kid's. Four and a half in kid's. Uh, but if you see these in men's, good money. Um, but they are 39 and it looks like we also picked up some Timberland. So, 60 bucks for the Tims and, of course, the golf shoes. So, shout out to both. Uh, smooth sailing. How many bowfins are out there right now? 
both in in this color i've seen them in men's i've seen them in women's maybe they're not supposed to be in women's but i've seen them there anyway we've seen a lot of these um out there let me know in the comments if or in the chat if you are picking them up for bowpins but they are 59 my outlet has them i think complete with box right now at 95 and they're gonna go down so they're gonna go down even more probably plus a 30 um and then eventually they're gonna hit back wall but that's one of the shoes that you got to keep your eyes out when you go to the outlets you see similar styles um people are paying a lot less than you will if you're going to Ross and Burlington and picking up similar outlet finds. So be patient, get the right size and the right uh, price if you go to the outlets. All right, Authentic Athletic Apparel uh, with the glow in the dark Penny Zoom Rookies for $60. Are you a fan of these? Let me know in the chat. Uh, we've seen various colors of this one, the, the Penny Rookies that they made throughout the years, this one being glow in the dark. This one as well was at the Dallas outlets when me and Ken uh, went over there. And I think it was still priced pretty high at the time. I'm pretty sure they went down in price just like anything else. They're going to go down and then hit the back wall and so on. But complete with box, as you know, changes everything. So keep that in mind. And if you have these, uh, you know, in your outlets, same thing. Stay patient. So... Let me see. Next one. Uh, Hustle Bin and Go Steals and Deals. We saw uh, the Doran Becker. This is for free one, free run at Burlington. $40 a pair. Um, this one was at the outlets as well. And uh, Nike Air Max Safari and a 39. So these do sell well, I think, in a really good size, though. It looks like a size 10 and a half, I think. Uh, nine and at least when i looked it up nine and a ten ten and a half were pretty good so nice there and the doran becker's forty dollars a pair so let me see both ends of pumps comps were bad when i checked there we go i purple productions i don't see them being that that great right now but like i said complete with box that changes stuff um Penny rookies are low resale, but may, can make a buck if you get them low enough. There we go. Complete with box as well. Um, I'm curious how many Project Rock backpacks are out there. Seems like everyone is finding them. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. And I wonder how long they're going to be out there. Just like with the Project Rock duffel bags, what, a year ago? They were there, and then they were gone, and then we didn't see them. I think a couple of people found them like nine, ten months later, and even then, only a couple of bags were out there and those sold really well if you were patient enough those were were good uh will what's up will also comes out in the in the <laughs> in the shout outs here let me see do you like the outlets corpus christi uh that one I'm trying to remember did we go to that one or not i think we only went once and i think i think it was okay it's all about timing i think with the outlets you know, when you go, what day you go, um, what kind of sales they're running. And um, every outlet has like, you know, different different items in stock. So um, I don't remember that one. Let me see. All right, next one. All right, Ron23 sells with the official match ball from the Champions League made by Adidas. Um, so solid there. And then sneaker flip with a different Kobe. And this one uh, at Burlington. And it looks like no comps for this color, but I've sold these in other colors, 131.40. So congrats to this one. I don't know if it's, did they make team basketball for this one? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, picked up the Kobe's and uh, even matches whatever shirt this guy was wearing. So there we go. You know what? Just wear them out of the store. They match, match your outfit. Just wear them. Next one. All right, let's get into some of the meat here. Meat and potatoes here. So Operation Hustle. Vapor Max 2019, 59 bucks. Size looks like eight and a half in men's solid, and it looks like smooth or smooth sailing. Also picked those up, threw them in here. We also got the cleats. We also got the Deion Sanders. Also got a little foam posit mixed in there. So nice little cart full, nice little mix, smooth sailing and Operation Hustle Vapor Max 2019. I haven't seen. I haven't seen Dion or Vapor Max 2019 at my uh, Burlington's, but gotta keep looking. 
Got to keep hunting. Let's see. Next one. Uh, oh, Souls and Stitches. Also, same thing, 59. And this one a little bit bigger in a size 14. And district deals. So we're going to see a lot of um, <laughs> for Burlington and Ross. And man, so Vapor Max, little mix, 270s. We see the penny rookies in or the pennies in here. It looks like an Air Max 98. Um, and of course, the Vapor Max here. So district deals, killing it as usual um showing no mercy he's just playing at this point he's playing because even his crop isn't showing you everything else that's in this cart he's like oh yeah just one pair of vapor max uh but yeah he's he's playing out here all right let's see what's up nike boxes uh let me see vapor max are comfy only found one of the dion's um which is this one right here let me see. Oh, there it is. Assault and Stitches. There you go. There we go. And all right. Jo uh, Jake joins the chat and he hasn't been on IG like to uh, like everything. Let me see. I go back down. Here we go. All right. Next one. District deals again. And Don Alpha Cleat. Uh, 60 bucks. And he said here, I had to look them up. Air Max 97 I 95. So, uh, Pays tribute to East Coast Highway uh, between Maine and Florida. Uh, size 12 and a half, which we know is 12 and a half is weird. Like it's like the prices are really, really high or there's no one interested. It's like either one or the other. Um, but uh, oh, what? where is he? Oh, Relentless. Where is, oh, Relentless resells it on here. But Relentless sent me this photo. He's like, man, this one for the collection. Um, I was like, yeah, I, this one is pretty sick. I do like this color. Don Alpha Cleat, Air Max 97, Dark Stucco. And this one, I don't know. What, I'm guessing 59, and I'm guessing probably maybe women's section. But there we go. Dark Stucco. Looks exactly like my cart, except it was empty. <laughs> DBS, that's hilarious. Uh, let me see. Hey, I like my tags. Not to flip it. All right, next one, Matt's Flips. This one's a pretty sick color. Almost reminds me of like a nice Laker color. 70 bucks, and it looks like a size eight and a half that this one is in ladies. Uh, hey, dudes can rock this one. I, I like this color. Uh, but Vapor Max Plus at Burlington, and a Relentless was in there. See, there we go. Now this makes me jelly. 70 bucks, and a Deadstock Deals found the Vapor Max 95 at $60. The weird thing is though, I don't know if that's even the right tag because that's a size five. I mean, unless this is a kid's, but even then, I don't know what the style code, that's a weird one uh, on the tag, but congrats anyway for finding the uh, Vapor Max 95. So there we go. Next one, what's up? Sin City Hustlers, uh, Zombies. Let's see. Hey, your finds. Oh, yeah, this one. I found that one at the outlet. He found it here at Burlington. Uh, Souls and Stitches, $55. Air Max 95, Dusty Peach, and Nerd World Gamer on the 97s. And this one's kind of like a beige color. Uh, District Deals, again, and Maximal Finds. Both of these guys, they just kill it out there every week. Uh, district deal, so four pairs of 97s. I don't know what the style looks like on the side, but looks like a pink insole and pink pool tab on the back, but four pairs of those. And then Maximo finds mixing it up with uh, Vapor Max Utility and uh, Vapor Max, what? Vapor Max Plus and Air Max 97s also back there. So like a full hand uh, Maximo finds. Man, that was insane. I mean, I, even for the collection, that one that one's pretty sweet. Um, note to flip it, you're in Atlanta, right? That's from James. Note to flip it, where is he? He goes around. He he drives around. Um, Kid Icarus Mining, sixty bucks, and this one for the two seventies, also for the ladies, and a final merch one, Vapor Max. This one is a size seven and a uh, seventy bucks. Next one, Souls and Stitches again. For the 97s in a size 8. That one at $65. Let me know if you're a fan of this colorway. Um, you can see that one there. And Daily Fine 69. Air Max 95 Bordeaux. 
and picked up one, two, three, four, five, well, five pairs. I <laughs> went over one, but five pairs of those. And these here for soles and stitches on the 97s. And oh, I did that one twice. Never mind. All right. On to Ross number one. All right. Make sure it didn't freeze. This might take a while. <laughs> but Ross complete five stars, which we've never seen before. But Ross, you better go out there. Go out and get it. Go out now. You shouldn't even be watching this. If you are watching this, you should be at Ross watching it. Um, because who knows what is out there right now. All right. Kid Icarus Mining, Luis Resells, and Chris Ramos 360, all with foam posits in men's $70. This one, though, I don't know if they only have size uh, 7 and 7.5. Seven and um, that's the only sizes I've seen people tag me in. So it makes me wonder, are they only have the small ones? Or are we going to get a chance to get size 9, 10, or 11? I don't know. I think it's only the small ones. Either way, picking them up, 70 bucks. All right, next one. Uh, suitcase City Hustle. And uh, Air Max 95s, 270s, foams. Looks like Air Force One. And it looks like Spiridon. Some Spiridons do sell well. You really have to do the research on them. There's like a reflective one. Um, there's like an over-branding one. There's the uh, regular basic colorway ones we've seen. That one, I think, kind of like a gray and red. Um, so you can double and triple check your research on those. And the uh, 95s have been coming out, but this one was um, like an outlet flood. My outlet had at least 50 of these, and they were down to 49 plus 20% off. So this one also, I would say buyer beware. Um, there could be plenty of people listing them soon because of the outlet steals um, and complete with box. Like I said, that changes everything. People will rather pick up that. So, yeah, be prepared. Uh, oh, we picked up an eight. That's from Luis. Congrats. I think eight, that's that's good. Eight and eight and a half. I like that. I think seven, seven and a half might be a little bit tougher. Uh, but if you're picking up eight plus, that's that's a good one. Uh, Will, Glenn got them. I'll go home and rest. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, looking for rock backpacks. That's from Will. Um, next one. All right. Faith Lopez. Nice with the Project Rock Duffel. The Duffel. Big money. Um, hold on to this one. This one will probably sell. I mean, that one's just solid. I mean, you have to pick this one up. Same thing with the rock hats. I think the only thing that kind of maybe don't flip as quick as quickly or maybe like the t-shirts some of the shorts, um, you gotta be a little bit more patient on. Now the backpacks, yes, you still gotta be patient, but um, no need to let go of those quickly. But remember, school coming up, um, and even as time goes on, we're only, you know, five, when sales start really picking up, four to five months from Q4. Like, I really don't see what the rush would be um, for, project rock anything if people are definitely going to be spending money um once late october and november hit really good um you know money to be made there so there we go all oh, rock shirts and tanks have been moving quickly so there you go congrats to derek um so many rocks in, in vegas i can't find one since the hustlers that's crazy um the duffel i have not seen i've only seen the backpacks scotty flippin was with the project rock hat and the rag and bone hat, which was super cheap. And then some of the cleats went down on clearance for the Jordan 4. So congrats, those two finds there. Uh, we need cleat videos on what to look for. I run into some nice looking ones. I don't know anything about them. I collect sneakers. Um, we talked about this last time too uh, with the cleats. I do make mistakes on the cleats. I don't know everything. Um, I come from the same background from the sneakers. Uh, but like it comes down with everything else, uh, you know, we got to do the research and we got to double and triple check everything. And if you're not sure, um, you'll definitely learn um, after the look, the feel, the sock, the no sock, the all conditions control or not. Some are good. Some are bad. Some uh, the different bottoms. You know, we're talking about AG. We're talking about the 
anti-clog. There's there's so many different ones out there. Yes, can get a little overwhelming. Comes down to everything else, research and learning them, and um, it's gonna take time. But once you mastered it, you know you'll be well on your way, and uh, picking up really good solid finds and making that money that we want. They're only twenty five bucks, so not bad. And even if you did buy them, you can learn from those mistakes too, um, and return them if needed. <laughs> uh, CNJ Enterprises, uh, Cole Hans out there, Oxford's, and then Don Alpha Cleat. Don Alpha Cleat um, has really been dominating for the last, um, probably for a while now, but really since started tagging me and stuff, um, I was like, man, awesome finds. But Vapor Max, um, these Flyknit Max, uh, I did find one. They were $49.99. It sold pretty quickly. Uh, but these are solid up tempos. That's a new color we hadn't talked about. This one in the kids, we can throw that one in, in there. Uh, Scotty sells thirty five dollars for kids size four on the two seventies. So that's a nice one. Even if wanted to get one for the kids, maybe your wife wears like a six Y or something. Thirty four bucks. That's awesome for something like that. Uh, let me see smooth sailing. Let me see 270 size 11 at $65. So it is a little bit pricier on this one. Ross logic $65 for men's $35 for kids $15 for women's up tempos. Uh, <laughs> we've seen so many random prices. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what they're going off of. Who knows how much they're getting them for in bulk and why they're pricing them a certain way. Uh, but 35 and for this one, you got to take them. All right. Oh, there he is. Will. See, he already has a Project Rock backpack. I mean, what else does he need? Um, but he found one. There we go. When he was in uh, Tucson, picked up a backpack, sporting it, rocking it, and flipping dollars. Also found one for the Project Rock backpack. So been looking and finally found one. There we go. Next one, Smooth Sailing Barkley, uh, size 13. I haven't seen this shoe. I think I saw a different color at Burlington. I haven't seen the Phoenix Suns color, 50 bucks. And then flipping dollars, um, a couple of kids finds. So $35 Air, uh, Air Max Deluxe. And it looks like, what, Air Max Plus for, what, 35 as well? Kind of like a Michigan Wolverines type of color. Let me see. Uh, shut it down. Let's all hit a Ross and reconnect in an hour. There you go. It's better uh, than they closed. Dolphin of Cleat is D in DC too. What the heck? Is that true? Don of Cleat also in DC? I mean, if that... That's wild. Uh, let me see. Anything that I missed? We'll answer questions at the end anyway, but anything that I missed, we'll go back. All right, Smooth Sailing, uh, A7 Resales, and Stevie D all picking up cleats. So 35 bucks. Um, there we go. Different bottoms, making sure. Also, make sure you're not missing any studs. Uh, we talked about that also on last week's show. And uh, Stevie D also has been killing it lately. So congrats there. Let's go to the next one. Oh, I know I did that twice. Uh, Don Alpha Cleat, two finds. For Air Max Zero Ultramarine, uh, this one with the Tinker tag. I think it might be another side, but it has a Tinker Hatfield tag. And um, I may or may not have found these shoes. Next one is the uh, 97s, 35 bucks. So 97 Wild West, only 35 That one's wild. Would you rock this color, though? Let me know. See, have we ever seen Don Alpha and District deals at the same time? That's a good question. I don't think we have. Are they the same person? Might be. Hustler Hacks Conspiracy Theories? Might get into that. Speaking of up-tempos, which we had the giveaway earlier, uh, Thrift 3 Shark and Silent Flipper, both with up-tempos. And the same $15 that we saw on the last video. So 15 bucks. Super steel and um, silent flipper. There we go with a reflect on these uh, for them. Yeah, the reflection or the reflective uh, up tempos. That one, you know, you're going to make big money on. They ugly for sure. 
Uh, there we go. Next one. What's up? Extra grands. Let's see. Uh, all right. Next one. Reselling Sorcerer and uh, Kobe Big Stage ADs. $54.99. Solid. Now, this one, automatic pickup. DRN sells and uh, A7 resells with LeBron for kids. So LeBron 15s. Uh, this one. So Black History Month. I don't know what the color is for this one. It's black and white one or what they call it. But uh, yeah, 39 bucks. And uh, definitely, I know people that did find these. Some of them did sell them quick. Now that we're seeing another one out here, um, who knows? Uh, let me know. Yes, Brian. Uh, there we go. Smooth sailing, $39.99 for Kyrie. Um, 40 bucks, size 5Y. And then CJ and Enterprises with the hat find. This hat, we also know, selling for good money. And that one we can hide a little bit. All right, next one, Mile High Hustle. Where is Mile High Hustle? I don't think we've seen him. Have we seen him? Was he here in the chat? He's usually here. Mile High Hustle. And Spiridon and LeBron's and well, this is LeBron too. I think it was a Kyrie back there and a Kyrie tag. So all of this here, it looks like all uh, grade school sizes, but everything at 40 bucks. And Scotty flipping $55 for LeBron. What? Zero dark 30 and found some more cleats. So 55 bucks, LeBron's and LeBron's for kids. And this is really why I think out of all of that, I mean, good stuff, right? Mixture of Cole Haan, Kyrie's, a lot of, you know, kids, Heat in 270s and LeBron's and some of the Kyrie's, high-end cleats. But then Ross does this to us and 720s. And 720s, so here's the thing. I don't know, I mean, is it only men's or men's and kids? Is it both? I haven't found them yet, so I don't really know. Uh, but at $35, it makes me wonder if these are probably kids. And this one, I don't know. Maybe this is the same find. Um, but because of Don Alpha Cleat. But Sin City Hustlers at $69.99. Obviously, this one's a men's. A lot bigger. So I guess we're getting both. Um, men's and kids. Kids, $34. Men's at $69.99. Either way, $720s, a must pick up. And not only that. But we get different colors as well. Ross Shallington and Don Alpha Cleat. So these, I think this one is probably men's. Is this one? Maybe they're both men's. I don't know. I'm guessing they are. Uh, <laughs> but men's, there we go. And 720s, 720s, and probably kids. So 35, there we go. Um, have you found the Kaepernick Nike jersey? I haven't. And I've also been looking for that Kaepernick jersey nothing nothing in my area so i'm gonna keep looking out um it is what like i'm with cap or something like that like it's black with i think silver numbers and letters uh i think so all right and i think that's it all right so this week we had uh diddy's discounts tj max marshall's and then burlington and ross ross a little bit above burlington but they've been pretty steady um at that number one spot so there we go. Congrats to Ross. All right. Let me refresh, make sure we're not freezing, make sure we're good. So I'm going to talk a little bit about mindset. Now, a lot of the other times we've kind of ending it, you know, at, after the power rankings, we haven't dug deeper and had like a secret, you know, like a second segment to talk about. So this one, I'm going to go a little bit about mindset. I did see a uh, an article about like simple mindset hacks and there was a five of them that I think we can um, definitely talk about and use while we're out there um, sourcing and finding things. So remember, if you weren't in this week's shout outs, you'll be in next week. Um, if you tagged me on anything late yesterday and or today. So you'll be in the next one. Trust me. Um, I work on this on Tuesdays. So I'm like a day early. So you'll get in there. Trust me. Best mindset is Mamba mentality for sure. Uh, <laughs> like Mamba mentality, where like Kobe, or the like the funny memes, like Kobe once ate soup with a fork uh, 
because that's the Mamba mentality and the challenges he does. Uh, so here we go. Five, uh, top five simple mindset hacks. Now, the first one I thought was a little weird. Uh, a little weird because of the word fears. Like, So it says write down your fears um, instead of writing down your goals. And I think fears should be more of problems. And I think after you write them down and you go, kind of go through them, you realize that your problems are more of like excuses and things you could really go around um, and not necessarily holding you down probably as you probably think they are. So there's when people write down their goals, they have different goals. They write it down like thinking like, Hey, I got to make, or I want to make this certain amount of money. I want to have this amount of uh, inventory, you know, in my, in my store or get to this certain level. But what I like about this is completely doing the opposite and writing down some of the problems that I think you might be creating yourself um, in your own head that's probably holding you back. So, like, what are some of the problems you can you can face right now? Like, maybe I'm not getting out there enough to the right amount of stores. Um, so you can write that down if that's one of your problems. So how can you fix that? You know, how can you make extra time? to get to these stores. I know people want to get there right on time. Like, man, right when they're putting out new merchandise, I want to be there at Ross. You know how many comments and DMs I get? Hey, how many, or uh, what's the right time I should go to Ross? When is the right time? And the right answer is you have to go to as many times as possible. I also don't know what your schedule looks like, what your route looks like, where you live, what traffic looks like as well. You want to make, um, you know, as much, time, energy, everything as much as possible. You don't want to just waste time wherever you're doing in traffic or you're lost. You just want to make sure that, you know, you're going to the stores and making the best of it. So uh, if that's like one of your problems, then you can put that down and figure out how you can go around that. But I would say that for number one, I kind of like that and doing the opposite instead of the goals. Uh, next one, do the hardest thing first. So here's a question uh, that you can answer in the chat. What is the hardest thing from doing this? Honestly, we get a lot of things like, hey, this is super easy. Anybody can do it. And I agree that there's some parts of it that are easy. Um, but what would you think is the hardest thing? I would say the hardest thing, at least from looking at DMs and emails, is listing. I get a lot of people that don't want to list, period. And I get it. It does get kind of, you know, time consuming. It does, uh, might get a little boring. Who doesn't want to be out there and find items? You don't want to sit there and uh, listing things or maybe taking photos is the hardest thing for you uh, because it is time consuming and you just don't like it. And if you don't like it, then it's going to be very difficult. And that's where people go to hiring like an assistant or getting somebody to help them and doing the things that they don't want to do and they want to focus on their strengths. And I think that's good. And if your strength is you're just a super quick, I don't know, sourcing and you have your, your route down and you can do all of this, then it makes sense. Um, but do the hardest thing first. And I do agree with that because you could definitely get a lot of things out there, get it out of the way and you can make time for other things to maybe go out there and source more. Um, so Ed Bay says, I list when I'm in line. Uh, there is no right time to go sourcing, go whenever you can. Exactly from Ben. The hardest thing is staying patient. I think that's also true. Uh, staying patient uh, with fines and also staying patient with finding the fines. Because just because you go... Um, to Ross, you can go all day. Doesn't mean you're going to find something, you, you know, might not maybe later on during the week, maybe three days later, you hit a jackpot find um, and a cart full of items, but maybe uh, the first two, three days, there's nothing, but you got to keep going and seeing what else is out there. The hardest thing is don't low ball. Uh, least everything is cleaning shoes before listing. Um, I think for used shoes, definitely. I think in this case, in, uh, you know, Gugan wiping down uh, some of the, uh, I guess, what, prices and stuff, I can I can get, but doesn't really get too time consuming. What does get time consuming, though, cleaning, though, are outlet finds. We get so many outlet finds. People try them on. They throw them back in there. It's like, they, they run in store 
wearing these? Did they, um, you know, what were they doing in this? And they still had them brand new in or brand new. I got to clean them all, make sure they're nice. Um, you know, before sending them out, it's crazy. District deals, man, 50 bucks. District deals. What can, hey, we've seen his fine, so we know this guy is out there killing it. But $50 in the super chat, appreciate that big time. Uh, me and the entire community, let's get it. District deals, yes, real MVP. Um, and that's what actually district deals coming back to that was for this one. I'll go back to the third slide, but the fourth slide was give 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 and it's kind of it's kind of funny though that we're almost there too like right in time district deals talking about that for the whole community and what i say about give 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 is like yeah i have a channel i might you know i've helped different people throughout the time um but i think it's important to give back also when people are you know encouraging you you're encouraging them and kind of building that community in general you know we've gone to different meetups me and ken We've met different people. If I didn't have the channel, I wouldn't have met District Deals in person and others in person um, and built relationship and friendship um, from that. And I think it's important to kind of like give back and have that encouragement too. And also building that community and seeing like, hey, I price this at this or they could, they'll notice you and maybe what you've done in your store and your finds. Um, and they know too like, Hey, I, I like that pricing. I like the margins. I want to, you know, emulate what other people are doing. I think that's important. So that's part of the mindset part. That was our fourth slide, but we'll go back. Um, there we go. Will, slow clap. Let me see. Uh, Justina OG flip, 10 bucks. Super chat. Um, thanks for that too. And remember, super chat, you guys are throwing in things. Same thing. I'm giving out gift cards and it, well, this month has been $25 gift cards, but uh, every single week we're going to have new giveaways. And so I appreciate you guys giving me stuff for the super chat. I'm giving back also on the gift cards and we're going to definitely mix it up uh, for next month for uh, July giveaways. And remember, uh, we have a really good giveaway that's also coming up that I'm working on. Jake, know what to flip it. A dollar on the super chat. This guy is also balling it out there. So a buck. <laughs> know what to flip it. Thank you, sir. I'll you know what? For that dollar, we'll uh we'll get a dollar burger from Wendy's or something. You know, when we go to eBay open for Vegas, we'll use that dollar and uh and we'll get a burger. Let me see. I get one out of 50 finds that your deals does. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> All right, let me see. Uh, create your own luck. So this is number three, create your own luck. We've talked about this also um, how many times? Um, because, and trust me, every single week, it's the, uh, it's, the same, it's the same questions and comments and DMs. Um, you know, I went to Ross this week. I didn't find anything. It's like, wah, wah. I didn't find anything. How many times did you go? Once. Uh, what day was that? Saturday. What time? I went, you know, late at night or randomly during the day when it was super packed, which also, if it's super packed, uh, plays into this whole thing too. Because if you're in a rush or maybe you're like, ah, it's too packed. I don't really want to go through here. And now you're not even going through the full thing. You're not going to put yourself in the best position. So we talked about this before. Create your own luck. And I really hate some of the comments. Like, I've seen them on district deals. Um, <laughs> people are like, man, district deals, you're lucky. And lucky though, I really, I don't, I don't think we'll ever get to see it because really that's his own thing. And even if I did do an out hustle out there, me and Ken, we're not going to go and show you how much work this guy actually puts in. Uh, but district deals, I know for a fact is out there sourcing all day. So he's putting himself in the right position to get these fines. You got to create your own luck. And in that case, you know, create more of a mathematical probability that you're going to get what you want. If you go to a hundred stores throughout the whole week, more than likely you are going to get something, 
right? I mean, I doubt it that it's going to, I mean, you go one time a week, what do you expect? Um, let me see. Fines and flips and still kicking at sports, $5 each in the super chat. Thank you. Thanks for helping me build my side hustle. Uh, thanks to both of you guys for the super chat and no to flip it and Justina and district deals. District deals is dating the woman behind the register, <laughs> holding stuff for him. As soon as he comes in, ah, district deals. Uh, here you are, sir. Here's all the fine, sir. All right. And last one, uh, the path of unpredictability. This one is important. Uh, because remember in this whole side hustle, and especially if it becomes a full-time hustle, you never know what's going to happen. You never know if the fines are going to be dry. You don't know if the sales are going to be dry. You don't know if the sales are going to be on top and just awesome. Or maybe it could lead into something else. Remember, we didn't have, you know, Go and Stock X are relatively new. But if you're, you know, depending on eBay or even before then, not well, not before eBay, but with eBay, I remember going and selling a lot of stuff on Craigslist. Craigslist now, more people are using OfferUp. Different platforms that come around, that helps us too. I mean, no one predicted what kind of platforms were coming up and actually helping you now making sales. Um, you've really, if you're just down to Craigslist and eBay, you're trying to make that work. And then maybe on Amazon, you started getting into FBA, unpredictable stuff. Things might do well, they might not. My other example is Merch by Amazon. You know how well I was doing on that. And then I started to, um, you know, really focus on other things that were working for me. And I was like, hey, I got to go all in on this and build that up more instead of just kind of, you know, if I see something wasn't really working out, I can try to fix that up and go again. But being a full-time seller, I got to make money somehow. And if something is really, really working, you got to keep going, going all in and building that up. But this whole thing, unpredictable. And if you want something predictable, then you would get a regular job and do that. And which is nothing wrong with that. If you love your job, love what you're doing. If you don't, then you'll build up the side hustle, try to work your way um, out of that. Maybe, maybe you won't. It really depends on what your goal is. Uh, but I was there too with a full-time job. And then somehow, which I, unpredictable as well. Like I had no clue. Um, I was going to do a full time reselling, especially when I first started. It was all just garage sales and thrifting and Ross and Burlington here and there, uh, but nothing to what it is now. So, all right, that was it for our five tips and our mindset tips. So I can get this out of the way. Stop screen sharing. We're done. Any questions you want to throw out there, anything you want to talk about, um, you can hit that like button does help me that little thumbs up you can hit on that and uh yeah we're gonna get a video man i gotta i gotta finish editing hopefully a burlington video if i can get all of the footage ready for uh the friday video and then again on monday we'll have new vids as well um whew, all right any other questions anything you want to talk about let me know um you can do both i have a full time as well don't rush to quit your job district deal see full time and killing it uh, my mission is getting my hands on Project Rock backpacks. Um, updated sneaker collection video soon. Uh, man. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know about coming soon. I'm trying to figure out my other videos that I've been talking about, you know, helping out the business part of it that I've telling you guys for the last month. I'm still trying to get that video finished. But um, when that one comes out, we'll we'll definitely... We'll definitely talk more. Uh, more unboxing StockX vid. Yeah, I haven't ordered any other shoes besides that one uh, for the uh, Vapor Max. Let me see. By the time we get those black, uh, those backpacks, everybody will want them and I will have them. Some jeans. I'm on vacation every single day. I love my occupation. There we go. Bargain strikes. Uh, show us your buttery Travis Scotts. Oh, yeah, they're back there. Um, let me see. Uh, mission is do my own Ross trip. Uh, how do you handle inventory? Uh, so for, in that case, I have spreadsheets for both. There are two different spreadsheets for sales and for inventory, um, and keeping track of that. And then when something else, um, you know, something else sells, I have to make sure I go through all the other platforms and make sure I take that off. You don't want to sell things double or, uh, 
or a triple or something. <laughs> so uh, taking care of inventory, it gets way easier over time. So let me see. What is your average profit margin on shoe flips? Depends uh, what it is. And there's some fines that I'm like, you know what? I'm happy with the 40% ROI you know, on the low end that I've stuck with. And there's some fines that are like, yeah, I really got to double this. And, you know, 60, 75% ROI, 100% ROI, which you can do, especially like on cleats, you're spending 25, definitely sell uh, for 140, 150, 160. I mean, you're making sick money um, with those type of margins. So it really depends on what your find is and what the competition looks like. And overall, what the find is in general, there's some things that are just like, yeah, like, you know, these are money finds. Uh, let me see. Something about Jake playing basketball. Oh, did you see Jake's shooting range on his last video? Jake Curry headed for Vegas. Uh, that's funny, though, because I actually played. So I played basketball finally, like, to get into full fitness and shape mode for Vegas. Out of breath. I was breathing like hustle be out there. I was like, man, this is if I'm going to get anywhere near vegas basketball shape i gotta be dedicated because right now it's looking rough uh let me see update on the jersey they're still going through it i've just been getting the updates on the hopefully they can get something um they're trying to get the correct photo matches so it's gonna take a while it's gonna take some time but i'll definitely let you guys know um on the jersey let me see if you found any football jerseys recently or is usually later or the year you find them. Yeah, usually a little bit later, I think August range, we should see um, some football jerseys start to come up, I think. Um, how many signups for the basketball? I think right now we have like uh, 15 to 18, I think, um, is what we have. Um, so I don't know what kind of basketball we're going to be playing. I know most of the people are like 30 years and, and over. We might have to be like the big three out there <laughs> playing half court if we can. <laughs> but hopefully it is full court and we and the conditioning is right. We don't want Hustleby out there dying on the court. You're going to dunk on Hustleby. Uh, I can and I will. And so will Jake. I can't even dunk. So Jake will probably. Can Jake dunk? Hopefully he can't. Uh, let me see. Uh, come out here in Vegas. Oh, I am going to go to Vegas, and that will be next month, so we'll be there. Do you use Poshmark at all? I don't. Um, I do uh, Mercari, which it's done okay. But Poshmark, I just uh, never really been a big fan. Also, like the whole sharing thing. and uh, But Ken does Poshmark. Um, he's done okay. I don't know how his sales look recently. But I haven't done Poshmark. Uh, let me see. Why y'all be dogging on the B like that? It's hilarious. I actually asked uh, B to B on this show. I asked the B to B on this live show, but he's uh, he's busy. So maybe in the next one, we can get Smasher Pass. And I'll I'll tell Ken uh, for the show. Poshmark is great for me. There we go, Faith. Uh, how many platforms do you use uh, or what are they? Um, so let me see you guys are gonna roast out here next month. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. Sin City Sorcerer Lopez, what's up? Uh, Poshmark is torture. That's funny. Uh, some Mercari, eBay, StockX, and Go, of course. And um, offer up, I kind of just go to like buy. If I get some good deals, um, I'll buy to resell. Same thing with uh, uh, Mercari. I did pick up a uh, pretty cool like uh, Jordan uh, jersey for like 20 bucks or something, but it's probably going to be for the collection. <laughs> uh, Glenn Luxing has good defense. It doesn't have a jumper. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dis uh, Disco Drew. Uh, let me see. Any cleats finds? Yes. And that one you will see on Friday. Not a lot, though. Not a lot of cleat finds recently. There's signups? Question mark? Yes. You can go to hustlerhacks.com slash b-ball and sign up do you have an assistant uh, my wife helps me with the fba stuff so she uh takes off all the labeling and then poly bags if they need them and that kind of stuff for fba for ebay i usually just do it myself and take the photos and uh listing that 
Uh, let me see. Do you ship shoe, Glenn? How do you ship shoes with OG Box? Well, that comes with the Outlet Finds and Marshalls Finds. I mean, those are only two places, really, unless you have some sort of inside deal um, at Ross, which some people do. They've seen them with the Box because um, sometimes Ross will just throw away the box. They keep the box, or I don't know. Some I think there was a manager one time that uh, um, he had told me that, like, yeah. Well, I think it was one of them that San Diego might have been that um, manager that was like, yeah, I get the box, so I just get to keep whatever shoes brand new with box. And I'm like, well, you're a manager. You can do whatever you want. Uh, but congrats on that. But I think Marshall, I mean, uh, Ross does keep the box, and then they throw them out right when they go on the floor, apparently. Uh, but Marshall's Nike outlet, that's your best bet for complete with box. So they're two totally different finds. You ever go to Marshalls? Yes, I do. I've been way behind on my Marshalls videos. I guess because I've been so hyped up on the Ross finds that I've been having way more Ross videos than than before. Good FB toys right now at Ross. Yep, always got to do the the scanning and sourcing on there. It's good stuff. Tips on sourcing sneakers outside of retail stores. Uh, Facebook groups. If you can get in on some facebook groups that focus on sneakers sometimes people just want to get out of it um you might be able to get some good things in bulk same thing with offer up and mercari but you gotta double and triple check that you're not buying fake so that's the thing too is like you really got to know what you're buying if you know um the sneaker finds and what you're getting then that will help let me see if you're under 30 and have ever been played organized basketball, you'll not be approved to play. Also, <laughs> he has to shine. That's hilarious. Oh, man. No, to flip it. Uh, let me see. Glenn is my official mentor. There we go. Uh, when I'm in Ross, I think, what will Glenn do? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, appreciate that, Eddie. And let me see. Where are we? Where do I, where do I sign up? Um, hustlerhacks.com slash b-ball is where you sign up so you can see it on my website even if you go to hustlerhacks.com it's on the very top corner b-ball sign up there and then we're going to send out uh whatever info and contact everybody a couple of days before but more than likely it's going to be that first was that a tuesday ebay open day so i think it's going to be that very uh night that we're going to play so hopefully we don't get too um hurt or dunked on or injured because ebay open we still have like two more days after that have you been going to garage sales i haven't um i'm actually gonna hopefully have one i've been clearing out stuff i went to my parents house and there's been stuff that i totally forgot i even had so i might even have to have my own garage sale and get rid of just random stuff uh, let me, uh yes the live stream on basketball <laughs> maybe it could happen we gotta take the laptops live stream from jake's channel and my channel maybe we could do that and hustle b can do instagram so all right i think we're done we'll see you guys on friday we have burlington video i gotta finish the editing i'll have that out soon and yes uh eb opened the vegas trip hopefully it can go and uh you know talk with you guys meet with you guys eat, hang out, all of that. And uh, yeah, so we'll talk soon. I'll see you guys. And any other questions? Anything? anything? Uh, let me see. Nothing? Oh, James says, stop posting all of your treasures. So there we go. Stop giving away all the details because people still have to go out there and find stuff. Be more secretive for the sake of what? of all of our businesses yeah and well instagram alone uh my channel i don't have as much reach as instagram if i get more subs that would help but uh instagram yes there's a uh, a lot of people posting the find see what they get but all it comes down to is putting in the time the effort the work to get the finds regardless because even if all these other people found all these other things in the say district deals uh, or anybody else. Um, if I don't find it, it's not really going to affect me no matter what, because I'm not going to be able to even sell that item period. 
Um, so really, I'm going to worry about what's in my area, what I can get, what I can sell, and definitely go from there. So uh, we'll see you guys. I would pay to watch the B play. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. If you want to check out any older basketball videos, you can go to the Orlando Out Hustled, and you can see Hustle B and uh, his sweet jumper. All right. We'll see you guys on Friday. Go out and get it.